Hey, if art is a crime, then just... Oh, damn it. Okay, think, Delson, think. Ah, party at the Longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. out there it's just me Betty Delson. would you put the stapler down seriously what are you doing here why aren't you at the big to do at the longhouse um uh yeah I just didn't feel all that accomplished tonight but you look amazing it looks great on you seriously what were you doing up on the roof hmm nothing just were you up to mischief Come on, I know you're in there, so just come on out, or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the key. <laughs> you're up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you gonna do here? Uh, uh, well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you are still here... <sighs> Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Oh, I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. Hello, freedom. And now the easy part. Get to the longhouse, set up an alibi. Hey, man. I've been looking, like, forever for you. We should probably just get inside. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and you over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? Misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, man, there's a lot of scary shit in the world. And while I'm out there actually trying to assert my talent... You're trying to cause... assert your talent? I mean, what the well, hell are you always even do talking this, about? Reggie. Why don't you just let me be who I am? Tell me what big, bad, if scary you listen, shit you're gonna say us from. It to you. Really? Because I don't seem to Reggie. get it. What? Truck. Gonna die, hey, man. you all right? Oh, God. Oh. Hey, let him go! Just let him go and keep your hands where I can see him. I don't wanna hurt nobody. I just wanna get going before she gets here. I said let him go or I will shoot you. Fresh. Oh, I said I don't wanna hurt nobody. Rich? I gotta find Reggie. What the hell was that? I... What the hell? What's happening to me? Oh God, no! Stop it, stop it, stop it! What's going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Make it stop! Reg! Reg, I really need you! What is going on? Reggie! I gotta get you out! 
Okay. Okay, just... Just help me push! Oh, dear God. No, no, no! I can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. Reggie, I can't okay. stop it's it, okay. man. It's okay. You're okay. Just breathe. Breathe. You're all right. You're all right. I'm one of them, man. I'm no. one of them. No. No. You are my brother. All right? You are my brother. Okay. This thing with you is gonna pass. I promise. We'll fix it. All right? You with me? You with me? Okay. Okay. Get out there. There is a bio so we gotta stop him before he gets to the rest of the tribe. All right? Okay. I need you. I need you right now. Okay. All right? Okay. Come on. You good? Yeah. Let's go. Sheriff, we can't get in! The button's jammed! I think Betty's still inside. Jeez, man, the latch is melted. Locked. How the hell did he get through? I think he ran through. You can do that? It's only one way to find out. Elson's a bioterrorist, too. Wait, he's not... Vents. Good to know. Not good! Wow, that should have hurt. Spoil the surprise. Gotta get out of here, lady. Stay away from I'm me. I'm trying to help no, you, lady. Stay away from me. Stop. Stop. Delson. I was just trying to create a diversion. I didn't know anybody was in you here. You did this to me. You're a conduit. Uh. Betty, I'll explain later, but you gotta get out of here now. Good, I'm gone. Not until you fix this first. I spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. I saw you poking around inside my head. It was me, I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! We're not going anywhere until you fix this! Just let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever got to know about any of this. Wait a minute! Stop it! Talk about this! Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that 
Mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh... I, I try not to be. <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm not nervous. <laughs> It's been my experience, there are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Um, um, no, he didn't, he didn't share anything. Good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because <laughs> aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. What happened in there? And I will tell you again. God! <sighs> <sighs> I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened no, there. No, Betty, don't. So. Really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? Piss off. Then I have no further use for you. <laughs> Hope you're not as stubborn as that one. Are you, Betty? Yeah, I'm told that hurts. Augustine was in bluffing, huh? Well, no one here was going to turn you in to protect themselves. We're Comish. We take care of our own. I guess I did the right thing. You imagine what that bitch would have done to me if I'd actually talked? Probably the same thing she did to every 
anyone else in this room when you didn't. Do me a favor and um, tell everybody else that uh, I said uh, thanks for taking one for the team. Yeah. Oh, man, Delson. Whoa. <sighs> Damn it. I thought we were going to lose you there. Concrete in the legs? More than that. Oh, glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? All right. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Hey, Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. They're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? Yeah. But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. Yeah. Then screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie, I did this, and I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Delson, you just got back on your feet. Look, I know you wanna help, but the doctors have already said the only- The only way it's getting out is with the same power, I get it. Which means... We don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? I mean, think about it, you'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck, I... That's my truck. All right, I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We, we hit the town, we load up at the all-you-can-leech condo at Power Buffet, we maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, Head back. What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? Wake up, man. Look, don't worry, Dell, all right? We're gonna fix this thing. I'm gonna find you a cure. A cure? But shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Great. Huh. Well... Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! Damn it. Oh, this must be the mothership. Jesus, Delson! Hey, are you okay? Okay? I'm better than okay, man. I think I picked up a new trick. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Definitely new and improved. Jelson, this is not improved, man. We're trying to fix the problems you already have, not add new ones. What do you think? Augustine is just sitting on her ass? I gotta power up if I'm gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Concrete Queen. Hey, I'm hoping to avoid that. Listen, there might be another way that we can get to Augustine. What other way? I, what other I way? I have a few connections in Seattle, right? Some in the police force. No, if no, we no, get no, 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 no. This is not the point where Reggie swoops in and makes everything all right. That's this it. is not your problem to fix. It is mine. Oh, is somebody there? Can you hear me? There. Perfect. You want to go help somebody? Go save damsel in distress. Anyone? That's not... Right. Fine. We both go. Come oh, on. no, 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 no. You need... go play super cop, okay? I will catch up with you in a minute. All right, but don't go anywhere. And for God's sake, don't touch anything! I'm gonna touch everything. Hello. Hey, Delson, I need you up here. Dude, you will not believe what that beeping was. Let's get I... up here, okay? I found a bus full of relief workers that stuck. I'm trying to convince them to just abandon the bus. They don't want to leave all the medical supplies on top. Well, just tell them to hold on. I'll get the bus unstuck. Nelson, I know what you're thinking, and don't. Dude, I just took out a fleet of quadcopters. I think I can dig out a bus. I am unstoppable! Delson, I told you not to- I'm sorry, Reg. Can't hear you over the sound of my heroics. Delson, we got a problem. Some of the people on the bus, they saw you doing your super thingy to clear the way. And? And they're afraid of you. What? Look, I told you, man. Bioterrorists aren't especially popular. So what, am I like Rosa Parks and they want me to sit on the back of the bus? No, they want you to sit outside the bus. Look, they don't want you in here, right? They said if you come on, they're gonna get off. Then let them walk. I don't care. You think I can't take this door down? You are not gonna do that. These people have never seen anything like you before, and they're scared, right? And I can't blame them. He says he's gonna break down the door. Go! Oh, sir! Just give me a second! Look, just let me run them across the bridge. I'll come right back for you, all right? It'll take five minutes. Come on, man. I can't let you on the bus. Five minutes. stuff is gonna come in real handy. Okay, okay, I give up, okay? Just don't hurt me! You should have said please. Pitching army, huh? Delson, 
All right, all right, all right, come on. I got it. Thanks for the hand. Huh. Check it out. Wow. Seem to be getting the hang of your uh, new symptoms, right? <laughs> and of course, the only downside being that. Uh... Nope, can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> really? No downside? How about those heavily armed guys over there now want to hurt you real bad? That a downside? Yeah. Now look, for all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal viral terrorist. So... Normal? No, no, if you mean by normal, you know, the sheep that they try to line up so that they can probe them. No, Reggie, I'm not normal. And did you see what I did on that bridge? We I could did. take these look, guys. Let's just see if we can sneak you through their checkpoints first, all right? It'll make getting around the city a lot easier. Okay, fine, fine. Do it your way. I'll settle. Please place your finger on the scanner. Processing. Warning. Line 100 is empty. Lethal force is on the line. That's two out of three. Delphin, run! What the hell with that? Delphin, stay behind cover! Don't tell me how to fight! Not good to keep things. Reds up on the towers! I see him! I'm fine. Dandy. Uh, like you said, laying low. Just keep laying low. I'll call when I've got something. Nothing. Got access to the Seattle Police Database. Turns out, the DUP has eyes and ears everywhere. Well, let's gouge out their eyes and slice off their ears. All right, I've got you on my GPS. You're not far from one of their mobile command centers. Shut that down. It'll limit their ability to track your movements. Mobile command center. Got it. So what exactly does one of those look like? Well, it, it should be a large, heavily armored mobile unit with side ports and major communication gear on top. Center and destroy it. Should make things a little easier. Huh. You must be back up. I think I prefer the smaller guys. They are really stepping up their game. Definitely prefer the smaller guys. you big fella oh crap well did it work uh no time to check man i got dupes coming at me from every direction get the hell out of there yeah great advice
Okay, Delson, I've got some information on the DUP's communications network. Now, there's a central antenna so they can coordinate the movements of all the smaller districts. All right, any idea where this central communication thing is? Well, you did say you wanted to see it while you were here. Shut up, Space Needle? Space Needle. Okay, Reg, I'm here, and you were right. The needle's tricked out with all kinds of electrical crap and what looks like a bad aluminum siding job. You're gonna have to get to the top of the needle. Well, it's a nice day. I'll just climb to the top. Climb. No, no, no. Don't be crazy. Right, hey, man, it's not crazy to be awesome. All right, time to gouge out the eye of the needle. And that must be what holds it all together. What the hell? Oh, I haven't seen you before. Rex, man, they got a small army up here. Good. You're in the right place. Or that they really don't like other people playing with their stuff. Come on, focus, Nelson. Do you see any way to take down the communications? Yeah, yeah, there's this uh, anchor. Looks like it's holding all the antennas in place. What do you say we keep this at sea level? Away. Hello, Science Center District. I lost you. Do you read me? I'm getting nothing, sir. You? Nothing outside our immediate area. Yeah, Reg. Let's go find us some prime conduits and get some new powers. We own the street! Take it easy. A few streets in the immediate vicinity, right? The DUP still owns the other 98%. But we kicked them off the Space Needle, man. You knocked out their comm center, okay? They may be deaf, but they're not dumb. Kicking the DUP completely out of Seattle is going to take time. We just got here. You know what they say. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single kick-ass tag. Who says that? The Chinese people. Hey, Reg. Can you see it from down there? <laughs> Are you kidding? People in Portland can see it. I just want to let the dupes know I'm here, man. Who the hell is that? That's not one of the three who escaped. Bannerman. <laughs> Pretty lame, right? Yeah, I just heard. And can we please not use the B word? What? A bioterrorist? Yeah. You know, that's just a slur invented by the DUP to make people scared of conduits, man. Look, whatever you want to call him, let's just track him down and find out what he can tell us about Augustine. And drain his powers. Okay, fine. And drain his powers. I'm telling you, it's gonna work. All right. They just found a body at Fifth and Briar. Go check it out. But promise me, you'll be inconspicuous? Yeah. Well, found the victim. Definitely the work of a conduit. It's very showy. Okay, I need you to take a couple pictures of the crime scene and send them to me. Anything that might give us a lead. Okay, sending you the picture, but I think he blinked. There's your wounds. I wonder what kind of power did this? Fire blast or lasers? Ooh, 
What about flesh-eating death gaze? <laughs> I wouldn't mind absorbing a little flesh-eating death gaze, right? Delson, even if the guy who did this is a prime conduit, we still don't know if this power transfer thing's even gonna work. Well, you know what? If it does, my first victim, it's gonna be the guy who came up with the name Bannerman. Bro, you really need to let that go. Uh, Reg, I'm hearing sirens, man. Yeah, let me check real quick. Yeah, the DUP's just cordoned off the area. I've warned the Seattle PD to stay away. It has to be the conduit. I'll check it out. All right, there you go. Stand by for wounds. No need. I got a hit on the face. Guy's a drug dealer. Rap sheet's a mile long. Look around for his stash. It might give us a clue why the sniper chose him. Holy sh- Holy what? What holy? Delson, are yeah. you okay? Wait, 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 don't impale me! Be I come careful. in peace! Real original advice! It's okay! It's okay, I'm one of you! I mean, one of us! Would you slow down? I'm not gonna hurt you! God, especially if you don't slow down. Stop! Come back! Nice meeting you. You get him? No, he ran fast, like, like really, really fast. Conduit fast, man. Screw flesh eating death gaze. I'm with that. Don't be greedy. Funny thing, man, I, just before every shot, you could see the neon sign behind him dim a little. Must be a power source. Then head back to the sign, see what you can find. Well, one thing this place tells us is that our sniper is a sniperette. Wait, what? <laughs> you should see this, Reg. It's like the girliest sniper's nest you've ever seen. What does that even mean? I, I don't know, it's just girled up, girl stuff, like the name Brent burned into the wall in girly handwriting, and it is definitely the best smelling assassin's den you could ever be in. Okay, uh, look, just send me photos of anything you think might help. That's interesting, all right. You know, it's a long shot, but Maybe if I run this through the database, cross-referencing the name Brent, get lucky. You know, if I had smoke and lasers, I could, like, put on light shows in our living room. Oh, that'd be putting your powers to good use. Hey, Reg, I was, uh, I was just thinking about the bras. Well, stop, okay? Seriously, just stop. Okay, I'm thinking, when I get to Augustine, it's gonna be like, whoom, smoke, and then once I got on the ropes, it's like, zap, zap, I'll whip out the laser show. Well, it's good to have a plan. Hey, I got a hit on the photo. Name's Brent Walker. One arrest two years ago for minor drug possession. Get this, found dead two months later in an alley. Cause of death? A single puncture wound of unknown origin through the chest. I'm sending you the address now. Yeah, our girls definitely got a thing against drug dealers. Sure seems like it. It's weird though, man. If she's just killing drug dealers, then why do the news reports make it sound like she's picking off random victims like it could be anybody? Yeah? Well, you'd think the DUP would want people to know the killings weren't random. That if you're not a drug dealer, you're not in danger. That'd sure bring the panic level down. So you're saying what? The DUP is trying to scare people? I mean, their job is to control the panic. Reg, you should see this, man. Speedy gone crazy is a tagger. She's a pretty damn good one, too. Yeah, well, don't forget she's a murderer, right? Pretty damn good one, too. She sets a lovely altar. It's actually kind of touching. 
Yeah, well, there's good touching and bad touching. You gotta admit, girl makes a mean vortex. And now we come to the highlight of the tour. Okay, that is full bore crazy. Okay, so the girl stops off for takeout, comes here to sit with Neon Brent to tell him all about her day, while she chowders down. You know, Olaf's has a location on Alaskan Way. He's supposed to have one of the biggest neon signs in the city. Hey, if I had neon powers and a chowder Jones, that's where I'd hang. I am on my way. Hey, mister. Sign our petition to get drugs off the streets? Unless we stop this poison, more about you to turn out like Fetch Walker. Fetch Walker? Her body was corrupted by drugs, and the drugs turned her into a bioterrorist. We need your help to keep our streets clean of that kind of filth. Filth, huh? Hey, you're either fighting with us or against us. What's the name of that book? You know, the one that says, uh, let he who is without sin cast the first stone? Radical. Wow. This is still a free country, Delson. Oh, Reg. Didn't know you were there. Did I just butt dial you? People have a right to speak their mind without being attacked. It was self-defense, man. They had signs and pamphlets. You know, on second thought, you would be a hell of a lot less conspicuous staked out near the restaurant's neon sign, all right? Be sure to reload off of it, and you wouldn't give yourself away by picking stupid fights on the sidewalk. They started it. Just go. Smells good. Why didn't I take some cash off those dealers? Money, why do you hate me? Be my friend, Money. Come to me. Let's bond. No! It's okay! God! This again? Just like last time, Delson. Concentrate. Speed of light, baby. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting away. I got this now. Just leave me alone! Got to calm down, all right? Just relax. You're not taking Just me wanna... back! I am not going back to Curtin K! No! Just leave me alone! I am not going back! As a little girl, I never thought it'd be me. That I'd be one of them. My powers were a surprise. My parents turned me in. They knew what the government would do to people like me, and they did it anyway. I didn't know what to do, but my brother Brent just grabbed our coats and we ran. Those were hard days on the street. Moving from city to city, no comfort anywhere. And 
until we met some dealers. And man, they hooked us up. The drugs. The drugs were heaven. But then we always wanted more. And the withdrawal. Agony. Always looking for a fix. And when you lose your stash, when you think someone stole it from you, the drugs, the dealers, they make you do things they... The government picked me up easy enough after that. But it wasn't a regular jail. They trained me to shoot, taught me how to kill. So on the day of the crash, I escaped with all those skills. Everything I needed to set things right. Brent, I promise. Every dealer I find, I'm gonna burn your name in their chest. No one else is gonna suffer like we did. No brother. Nobody else. <laughs> hey, Delson. Delson, you all right, brother? What happened? Oh, you did good. You did good, buddy. Come on. Get up. Get up. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Hey, you did good. I know just where to put filth like this. Somewhere where Augustine won't find her, and she won't be hurting anybody else. Hey, no, 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 no. She's just killing drug dealers, man. Killing? Nelson, murdering drug dealers. What do you think I'm doing to the DUP? What you have to to save the Akomish back home. She stays free. No. Dude, no way. Look, just because you have the same affliction, not gift, affliction. Doesn't mean that we're gonna pick up every little piece of trash we find. Look, I'm never going to abandon you, all right? Not ever. This one goes in a cage. Hey! When it comes to conduits, it's my call. Not yours, not ours, mine. Oh, really? So Mr. Freewheeling Badass finally wants to take on some responsibility. And for what, huh? A bioterrorist with a body count? I love you, Reg. Don't make me break that handsome nose of yours. Fine. When she kills someone's father tomorrow, or mother the day after that, you're the one that'll know that happen. Who calm down? Yeah. Let's talk. Yeah. What's up? It looks like the haters are getting ready for their big parade. You in? Oh, I'm in. I'm a total hater. Let's go rain on their parade. Ooh, looks like the Duke troops becoming honorary members of the Haters Club. Yeah. What's it they say? The friend of my enemy has bad taste in friends? This makes it more convenient for us when they're together in one place like this. That was fun. God, I just want to light up that leader guy's innards. Maybe that'll make him shut up. Well, he's bound to be at one of these little get-togethers. Let's just keep crashing until we find the right one. I like the way you think, Smokes. Race you to the next one. Hey, here's a little trick I like to call laser.
leave you hanging there, Smokes. Hope you didn't get your ass kicked. Eh, didn't even notice you were gone. I got a lead on their leader. I'm at the west end of the Pioneer Tunnel, tracking him now. West end of the Pioneer Tunnel. All right, stay put, I'll meet you there. He's got a DUP escort and they're entering the tunnel now. I'm not gonna- Fetch? Fetch? Damn it. Oh yeah, this has got Fetch written all over it. Oh, come on! Excuse me, man on a mission here. I said, excuse me. Pardon me, gotta meet a girl. Oh yeah, real subtle. Listen, there's about a million dupes right outside the tunnel in front of you. So walk out real slow and act scared. Yeah, this should be pretty easy for me to do. Thing is, they think they got you trapped, but ha! Ha! And they're mistaken because... Because we're Smoke Guy and Laser Girl! Yeah! Joke's on them. Boy, have you guys got the drop on me. <laughs> ha! Hey, Delson, fire up that camera. I got something for the viewers at home. Please. Please don't hurt me. Hello, America. My name is Abigail Walker, but my friends and enemies call me Fetch. Two things you should know about me. One, I'm a Pisces. Two, I've never hurt an innocent person in my life. <laughs> I'm a monster, but it's not my fault. People who preach hatred of conduits leave us no choice. So who's really to blame here? Maybe you. Whoa. <laughs> There's a nice touch at the end. It just came to me. Yeah? What about the part where I put a hole through the hater? Ooh, golden age of television. Oh, man. I got all this energy now. I gotta burn it off. I mean, there's plenty of activists you out there. You wanna hook up? Activists can wait. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, know, you, you want to go someplace where you know, our bodies don't get riddled by ballista and foreplay? Oh. Poor place for the week. <laughs> <laughs> Delson, I got word of a ramped up DUP presence over in the Lantern District. You must think there's a conduit hiding there. That sounds like the place to be. Oh, hey, there's a bridge near here that'll get you there. Great. Now this is a conference call. Hi, Fetch. Hey, Abigail. Might be worth mentioning that that bridge was broken up like the 520 by the DUP. Hey, powerless. They ain't built and wrecked a bridge yet that we conduits can't cross. Right, Dee? Hey, might be worth a shot, Reg. Well, it sounds like you're in completely competent and trustworthy hands. You know, why don't you call me, if you get there? Man, how do you put up with that? He pays the bills. I'm heading for the bridge. Target sighted! Up there! 
Oh, bad move, man. This is gonna be awesome! You know that? So you recognize me? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're the one that had me dead to rights a couple weeks ago and just let me walk away. You've changed since then. You mean the smoke thing? Yeah, that's new. <laughs> I hear you've learned a new trick. You've expanded your arsenal. I, I don't know where you heard that. I mean, I'm, I'm just a lowly smoke guy. We'll see. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's doing nothing for me. <laughs> I suppose I could convince you to take a dive. <laughs> So maybe I, you know, lied about the neon thing, but listen, I think I can save us both a lot of time here. I just need to leech a little power off you. That's it. You want me to just give you my power? I mean, not enough to sink bridges or anything, but enough to pull the concrete daggers out of my friends. Yeah. And then after that, you will never see me again. I've got a better idea. Since you'd be useless to me back in your little hovel, how about you stay here with me? I kind of like my idea better. Dyson. You disappoint me. No. Whoa! Okay. Ah, the Lantern District, where I was headed all along. Just took the scenic route. Hey, uh, uh, is this Delson Rowe? Yeah, who's this? Oh, I am just a huge fan of your work. That tab you put on the needle, the yin-yang conflict of avian desire, right? See, I get what you're doing. The whole give power to the powerless thing, and I want to help. Okay. Well, if you want to help, you can help me find one of the escaped conduits who might be here in the Lantern District. Why do you want him, or her? I just want to shake his or her hand. Okay. Well, I've heard the DUP's planning to take all the suspected conduits they've routed up and move them to this holding facility they built downtown. Convoy's supposed to come right through the Lantern District, cutting across the I-90 overpass. Okay. You happen to know if any of these people have actual powers? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, totally. Absolutely, 
Yes. Huh. Well, thanks. Uh, I I'm sorry, man. What would you say your name was? It's, uh, it's, it's Eugene. It's a dorky name, I know. <laughs> hey, my mom got Delson off of an old western. Hey, Eugene, I'm thinking the easiest thing to do here is somehow drop the road a little, you know, pull the rug out from underneath him. Well, you could just blow it no, off. No, I can't take the chance it'll kill the conduit I'm looking for. I think I'm just gonna cut the supports, and the trucks will make it drop a little. Bam, instant roadblock. Okay. See, man, this is why I'm such a big fan. I wish I could be there to see it. Well, come on out and watch. But, you know, from a safe distance, of course. Because when we conduits go to work, you mortals better give us a wide berth. Right. Uh, right. Well, uh, you know what? On second thought, then, I'm going to stay home. I'll let you know if I find anything more about the convoy, though. Shit. Damn it. Of course, man. <sighs> <laughs> uh, suckers. Eugene, those buses are long gone. Any chance you know where they went? Uh, I don't know. Radio chatters all over the place. I can't figure out where they're headed. Wait, wait. You're tapped into the DUP right now? How the hell did you pull that off? Uh, just this phone app I've been tinkering with. Here, I'll send you a link. Okay, got it. Uh, so, what's it do? It's a signal tracker. You can listen in on the DUP's communications. But the cool thing is you can also use it to pinpoint the direction the signal's coming from. Man. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to take this thing out for a test drive. Drove right into a goddamn ambush. It was definitely Row. We were able to get clear with our cargo, but we lost contact with the others. No, oh, Eugene. <laughs> I got something. I told you. What in the hell have I walked in with? Angels? Are you kidding me right now? So either one of those escapees can make angels, or I'm going after God. And I do not like my odds in that matchup. Hey, Delson. Look, they found one of those vests the DUP suspects wear over by Hingham Market. A guy it belonged to might still be there. There's lots of places to hide. Oh, thanks for the tip. So where'd you disappear to earlier, huh? Hey, well, maybe conduits don't have to go to the bathroom, but the rest of us do. How do you get all this information about what's going on? Okay, in, in the Lantern District, the walls have ears and eyes. I just have friends in high places. Sounds like helpful friends. Uh, well, I couldn't imagine better. Let's see, if I had one of these things on, I would want to get it off as fast as possible because, well, because they're butt ugly. And I guess because they just scream, attack me, I'm a suspected bioterrorist. So you want some place private to get undressed with a door that locks? Place to sit while you changed. A porta potty would be perfect. You'd kill two birds with one stone. Hey, I'm not with the DUP, and I'm not a freak who goes around opening occupied porta potties. No, wait, I saw him first. These angels are quick.
Hey, Delson, I'm in the Lantern District. You still here? Yeah, about time you made it across. What the hell's going on? I'll leave you on your own for a couple hours and suddenly there's angels dive bombing people. Gotta have something to do with the conduit we're looking for. I set free a bunch of prisoners the dupes were moving. I think one of them might be our guy. Well, lucky for you, big brother's here. Finding escapees is what I do. Well, be on the lookout for anyone in a black and yellow vest. I saw one on the ground in uh, Hing Hang Market. Looked like a bitch to get off. Locks all over it. Gotta say, little brother, getting the hang of this manhunt thing. Maybe when we get back home, I'll deputize you. You can have a job for a change. Whoa, no thanks. One cop in the family is embarrassing enough. No! No! God, after I climbed up all this way. God, angel bastard, should have let him fall. Gonna maybe drain something off the corpse. How's it going, deputy? Whoever this angel maker is, he's pissing me off. They keep grabbing all the conduits and I can't keep up. Oh, same old, same old. If the angels aren't bad enough, there's these gangs of surly dudes out hunting the Vestoids, too. Those would be a current. An angry gang of bullies who like to cause trouble around the International District. You should stay clear of them. Stay clear? Yeah, I've been going conduit on their asses. Whoa, whoa, relax. I think it's time you called in the cop, brother. Listen, meet me by the porta potty in the Hinke Market. Got a crazy idea. Alright, I'll meet you by the porta Listen, man, I don't know what. You can trust me. I'm a cop. You know, I've noticed you like to mention that a lot. What? What do you think? I mean, there's a little bit of pain putting on, especially in there. Feels like somebody had some Thai food. But what do you think? Chase me. You want me to chase you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase me, shoot me. Uh, shoot near me. Near me. And we'll see what happens when one of the angels shows up. Yeah, because I've got a really good batting average with the angels right now. If they take you, man, they take you to God yeah, knows where. I know. Okay, but look, you know how you're always losing your phone and then you grab mine and find it? Right. Right, well, we have a GPS link. So you're like a big, ugly tracking device. Okay. Right. But look, we gotta make this look real, okay? Not too real, just real enough to fool the angels. You get me? Oh, I can get you right between the eyes. No, no, just... Don't be a dick. <laughs> Not bad. Ooh, I'm so gonna be a dick. Ah, fear me! I am a bioterrorist! Run away in fear, for I have powers! Horrible! Ugly! Big bearded superpowers! Oh no! I'll never surrender! And we have lift off. Hey, hey! Follow my phone! And don't be a dick! Video Angels, I should have seen that coming. <laughs> Woo, you don't- That all you got? This fight like cherubim. That's it! Keep shooting the screen! I think it's really put the hurt on him! Yeah, that's right! Keep coming! I'll take you all down! I never like commercials anyway. Ugh. Where did Reggie end up? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Worst idea ever. Oh, what the hell? Woo. 
I gotta hand it to you, big brother. You make excellent live bait. What? It worked, didn't it? <sighs> Found the angel conduit slayer. Now we go take him out. Come on, you come with me or what? Uh, I'm gonna take this shit off. And I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep. There's gotta be a ton of weird, spiky shit down there. And that, brother, that's all you. Oh, my God. Don't walk away, Mad. <laughs> it was your plan. <sighs> <laughs> what? Hey, Delson? Eugene, wanted to thank you for your help. Found the conduit's hideout and about to go inside. That's a bad idea. Come on, he's a conduit who doesn't even do his own fighting. How hard can it be? No, no, really, don't go in there. All right, I'll call you when it's over. All right, time to learn a few new tricks. Okay, so this is where they make angels. Hello? Anybody home? I see lots of vests, but no people wearing them. The hell did he do with them? <laughs> okay. Not what I imagined from the outside. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. Bigger than I'd hoped. I am oh, he yes. who dwells. And you have invaded my dominion. No one's invading your dominion, okay? I just want to share your powers. At school, I always tried to blend in, to fade into the background, to disappear. But the bullies found me anyway. They always do. The only place I felt I belonged was in Heaven's Hellfire. In that game, I made the rules. I could summon angels to protect the victims and demons to punish the bullies. But the real world? That... that I couldn't control. A at first, I did my best to ignore them. Until that one day, when, when they pushed me too far. When the DUP came, they said they were taking me to a new school, designed for people like me, different. For six years, she hooked me up to her machines. She made me call them out, always, always stopping before they could save me. Then that crash. That was my chance to, to finally really disappear where no one could find me and hurt me. But when I saw them rounding up more people who were different, I knew what she was gonna do to them, I, I knew. I knew we had to stop her. Delson! Delson? Okay, that's starting to get old. Oh, it sounded like you were in trouble, so I came running. You yeah. okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, man. I couldn't have done without you. Oh, wait. I already did. 
Speaking of, man, you're not gonna believe what I can do now. As soon as I figure out what it is that I can do. One point thing is you got a kidnapper off the streets. Whoa, whoa, bro, not kidnapper. He's more like a rescuer. Delson, listen to me. He took suspected conduits right off the street. Yeah. Against their will. That's kidnapping. Okay, don't go anywhere. First of all, thank you for using the word conduit. Second of all, why are you being such a dick? Look. Fine. Let's just agree to disagree. But we both know it's better for everyone if he goes in a cage. Just hang out for a second. Can I talk to you? I thought you were all about rule of law and not locking up people without due process. Hey, normally, that's what I do. Oh, what, so it just gets thrown out the window whenever it's convenient for you? Is that it? Just put a red wig and an old trench coat on you start calling you Augustine. Maybe next Halloween. Cool. So, Game Boy and I over there are gonna have a little conversation conduit to conduit. No normals allowed? Fine. If you need me, be right outside, okay? Ellen, thank you for all your help. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh, wait, I you already, already did. did. I know. So, Eugene, my brother, what do you say? You and me, a couple conduits, we hit the town, you teach me some of those video tricks, I teach you how to pick up girls, and we take our power to the people. Well, I'd like to find the Russians that were picking on the suspected conduits and kicking the shit out of them for a change. Dude, I want to party with you. The date then, yeah? All right. We will rise up. And we will teach them to accept us, even if it kills them. All right, time to check out the new arsenal. Not a great start. Forgot about that part. Okay, little bro. I sent you a new core relay. You... Reggie, man, I need you. I. All of my powers are gone. I got nothing new from Eugene or any of the old stuff. What? what? Hey, stay where you are. I'm coming. No, no, it's it's, it's too open here. GPS says there's, there's an alley a few blocks away. All right, I got it. I'll meet you there. Not a good time, fellas. Thank God you're here, Reg. I need your help. Man. Wait, wait, slow down. Did you say you lost all of your powers? Yes, I lost all my powers. I, I, I lost smoke. I lost Neon, I never even got Listen, video. this is great! This is great news, man! What the hell is this great news? I've got a thousand dupes after me, and I've got nothing to go on. Remember, we said we were gonna find a cure for you, and this is it! I mean, all that bioterrorist stuff, it's gone! Delson, we can go home now. Go home? Listen, you have given it your best, all right? The tribe knows that, I know that. But it is a miracle you are even still alive. I mean, please, can't we just... Quit while you're ahead for once. Tell me the truth. If you were me, would you just quit and go home? Absolutely. If I were you. No. So I Wait. don't care if I have to throw rocks. I am going to get Augustine. But since I'd rather avoid the whole David and Goliath throwing rocks scenario, I really need your help. Yeah, well, it sounds like you've already made up your mind, so why do you need me? Well, if I'm gonna have any chance of getting any powers back, it's gonna be through one of these core relays. Of course. But, damn it, Reg, I can't crack one of these things without any powers, all right? So I... I don't actually need you. I, I, I need your gun. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. You are not getting my gun, and that is final. You... Jeez. But maybe I will let you have a couple of my bullets. <laughs> Thanks, man. Gene, open up. It's me. Hey, Delson. What, you move the clubhouse? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Let's rock and roll, man. 
Well, no, you're gonna rock and roll. I'm gonna stick to the shadows. What? You know, stealth. Right. Stealth. If we're going to take this place back from the occurrence, we need to show them who's really in control here. Says the guy hiding in the bushes. Look, there's a group of them hanging around a construction site around here. All right, we start with them. Why not just send your demons? Take them out in a big, loud, demonic well, way. Unless they're out in the open, my friends can't get to them. You know, wingspan, clearance. Okay, I got it, I got it. So my job is to flush the currents out into the open where your demons will have a clean shot. It's like a, like a bird dog, only with people. No, 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 look. The youth should kill as many as you can. My friends love working with new people. Okay, I'm here. Okay, now chase a few of them up onto the roof where I can help you take care of them. Adios! Get ready, bro. Wait for you on the roof. Let me take this one off your hands. Thanks for the help. You guys do realize this is a fight, right? All right, I think that's all of them. Oh man, I wish I could have been there to see the looks on their faces when my friend showed up. What's stopping you? Oh, that's right, nothing. Hey, hey, Delson, look, there's something big going on. I just picked up a signal. What kind of signal? Eugene, you there? Uh, yeah, 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 sorry. It sounds like some occurrence are talking to, uh, I, I don't know, maybe the DUP? Look, use that signal app I sent you back earlier to listen in. Let's see what you think. Yes, we have sufficient men to hold off these attacks, but for how long, I cannot say. Soon we will require assistance in the fighting to hold our position. We have done as you asked, but it is no longer just the one. These bioterrorists are allying themselves. Just to face the one was difficult enough. But now they're a legion. They attack from the ground and the sky with smoke and light and something I do not know what. We had your assurance that in time of need we could call on you. At this moment, we are calling on you for your assistance. You should use the signal to find them. We can't stop until the job is done. Now listen to you. I'll take no prisoners. Evil must be punished. Brother, you are preaching to the choir. Found him. Denny Park, the Currens and Dupes. I was hoping they'd do that. Okay, Eugene. Just waiting for your friends. They should be there any second. They just had to pick up a few things. And now they'll drop them off. You know, for a guy afraid to show his face, you got a pretty twisted sense of humor. See, you shouldn't have messed with me and my demons. Delson, those are my demons. Hey, I'm closer. Eugene, you got any more demons you can send my way? Uh, yeah, but it might take a while. I haven't got a while. I'm gonna use up all the ones I got in about two minutes. No, 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 this isn't supposed to happen! Don't flake on me now, man! I, I, I can't do this anymore! Eugene, stay with me! Eugene! Eugene, please tell me you did not just leave me at the altar! Be 
home, for I have come. Eugene, please tell me that's you. Now, prepare to feel the wrath of heaven's fire. You ain't felt nothing till you felt the wrath. <laughs> okay there, teen angel, soften them up for you. Hey, Eugene, when this is all over, you, uh, you think you can teach me how to do that? You are not worthy! Dude, you turn into a real ass when you're an angel. You know that? This town is ours, and we shall show no mercy! Yeah! <laughs> what he said. Funny how a little indiscriminate slaughter can make the whole world seem brighter, huh? Hey, I made the world a better place. Figure I deserve a victory lap. <laughs> so, where are your friends? TV? Ever since Eugene, I try to stay close. News reported an explosion at the tower, then immediately retracted. Try to find a good vantage point to scope things out. Oh, Red, you're right. They're scrambling, but no one's firing. And now they're ordering all Seattle PD out of an area near the waterfront. Must be something they don't want anybody to see. Well, hope they don't mind if I take a look. It sounds like they've carpeted the group with APCs. Stick to the rooftops. You worry too much. The reds are scorch marks everywhere. Looks like my handiwork. Ah, so there's another smoke conduit. Shouldn't surprise you. There's not just one of each. No, no, I guess I was just hoping for something new. Show me what you mean by handiwork. Wow. So this is what it looks like when you... I've avoided looking up close. What's the use of powers if you pull your punches? A DUP helmet. Still working? Reg, this conduit man, they're saying it's that guy, Hank. Well, I, I thought you said she killed him back in Salmon Bay. She did, or I thought she did. I mean, I saw her kill him. I mean, he's dead, I'm, I'm sure of it. Just keep looking. Okay, Reggie, I'm gonna admit it. I was wrong. And keep that a little early Christmas gift for you. Hey, Delson, you gotta call a girl when you decide to go on a rampage in downtown. Uh, that's not me. I got a great view of somebody smoking the hell out of Duke Choppers. But you can see them? Where are you? On top of a building near 12th and Union. Why do you care about this guy? You already got smoke. Because I think this might be the guy who was on that transport with you, the one I got my powers from. You mean that big sweaty guy, Hank? Yes. And if he busted out of Augustine's tower, then maybe he can help me figure out a way to break in. Why don't you come with me and help? No. No, that guy is bad news. I think I'll just, you know, sit back and watch the fireworks. Delson, just watch yourself. I don't trust the bald redneck. Sure, but I'm not exactly helpless, all right? Besides, he and I have got something in common. Got no love for August. Yeah. Good luck. Hank? How, how the hell did you get this number? You listed. Sorry about the thing with the sucker punch before, but uh, I knew there was no talking to you till you calmed down. You calm down? I swear, man, when I get my hands on you, I'm... I'll call you back in a half hour. No, 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 wait. I'm, I'm calm. You sure? Cause so far, you've been all about chasing and shouting and wailing away at me. 
I'm gonna take Augustine down, but I need your help to do it. I could sign on for something like that. Great! Then we should- Hold on. The DUP guys around here are scrambling. Something's up. I'll check it out and I'll call you back. Reggie, it's me. Delson, thank God. You disappeared on me. Sorry, look, I caught up with Hank. He wants to work with us to get to Augustine. What? No, I I'm not so sure that's a good idea, man. Come on, you know what, big brother? You worry too much. Yeah, maybe you just don't worry enough. Listen, be careful and watch your back. You worry too much? Uh, not enough. Hank, what's up? Listen, kid, I've been thinking. When you was chasing me across those buildings with all the helicopters and all before... Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about all that. I... No, I was just gonna say, you clearly been getting the hang of those smoke tricks I gave you. Well, I uh, kind of need you to teach me one more. You managed to escape her tower once. How'd you get past those electrified barricades? There's a transformer on a roof across the way. You gotta shut down. But it ain't gonna do you no good. She got the whole thing armored up and half the DUP force is staying guard. Right, but maybe if we both work together... Hey, my specialty's breaking out of places like that, not in. Listen, we both got our reasons for getting to Augustine. She got something each of us wants. But we gotta do it on our terms, not hers. We gotta draw her out of her castle and out here. Where we stand a chance. Well, any ideas? Well, you know them two kids that was on the armored bus with me? Fetch and Eugene. I guess. Anyways, DUP's got them. What? Just happened. That was all the commotion before. Guess you needed to reel them in to make up for me getting loose. She's sending them out to that big concrete platform the DUP built between the two islands. And you want to what? Rescue them? Well, I figure is, if we go out to that island, set those two free and make enough ruckus while we're doing it, Augustine's bound to come running. Against all four of us, she don't stand a chance. Now, there's a pier right across from that platform. Meet me there just after sunset. I'll be there. Reggie, Eugene and Fetch, they- I heard, I heard. Hank and I, we've worked out a plan to storm the island and take out whatever dupes are guarding them in Delson, the- I've been thinking. There have been a lot of innocent people killed lately. Normal people. Normal? Jesus, Reg. We're not going back to that, are we? Look, I'm not sure I can help you add to that count, all right? Just to set a couple of bioterrorists free. Reggie, I... I'm a cop. I'm supposed to prevent this kind of thing. Just give me a call when it's over, and we'll head back to Salmon Bay. And Delson, watch out for Hank. I don't trust him. Reg, what, what are you doing here? Look, those are people over there. They need our help. Not bioterrorists, not conduits. People. Well, thank you. And thank you for, for being here, so... What's cop doing here? He's my brother, okay? He's, he's here for me. So, what are you thinking? <clears throat> I've been doing some recon. Our best bet's the dock on the far side. It's less exposed. Figure you two can do your smoke gift Thank and you. draw their attention out front. I'll commandeer a boat and go in during the distraction. Why are you going in first? Because I'm a cop. Which means I can commandeer a boat and it's legal. You steal a boat, I'm gonna haul your ass in. Oh, he'll do it. To. Um, so we'll see you inside, right? Yeah, see you inside. Stay safe, will you? Here she is. We pop in here, she'd come out smack dab in the middle of the thing. You sure about this? Hey, when I was in that tower, I saw things. One more thing. They got one of them drone things out there. The ones you get powers from. You know about that. Sure would be nice to get a new power before stomping on Augustine. Let's go. What? All of a sudden you don't trust me? I don't know, man. Something's not right. Maybe I should call Reggie. 
Henry, you didn't disappoint me. I did like you asked. You just do like you promised. You son of a bitch, I trusted you! Never trust a convict. I see we found something in your size, but just to be sure. Oh, lady. When my brother finds out what you did, oh, he is gonna... He's gonna what? Oh, you could have hit me! Yeah, that's payback for blasting me with the angels. Now, come on, get up. Come over here, I'll get those cuffs off you. Sorry, I'm out of grenades. I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. What do you mean? Uh, put your hands up here. I'll flinch. I knew we couldn't trust okay. him. Okay, okay, you were right. If I listened to you, we wouldn't even be here. Uh-huh. Well, as long as we are here, I guess we should save those two people. How are you gonna get us out of here? I'm gonna have to shoot you down. Sounds like a plan Cop Man would come up with. Actually, I'm starting to like Cop Man. Oh, Look crap. out! Stop! Uh -huh. Leave my brother alone, you bitch! Nelson, look at me. You gotta let me go. No, I can do this. Listen, can we can't this. let can this, this stuff get to you two. David, I'm so proud of you. No. Always have been. No. Lindsay, don't. I love you, bro. No! I'm sorry, man. You knew. You told me not to trust Tank, but I didn't listen. But I swear to you, this son of a bitch is. Where is Hank Daughtry? I know he made a deal with. Tell 
me where Daughtry is! One breathing to answer the question. At least I know he's alive. Just gotta find him. Wait a minute, he called before. His number's gotta be in the incoming call log. Gotcha. Here for Hank. What do you know? Turns out I don't need your goddamn protection. You haven't made it out of the city yet. Yeah, well, I left a trail of you guys' carcasses from one end of the city to the other. Any DUP shows up at the marina, that line's just gonna continue right out into the water. He's heading to a marina, running out of dry land. Might say me and old Hank are about to meet up again. I didn't know, I swear to God. You didn't know? You set us up! Oh, she said she wasn't gonna hurt you. She promised she's just gonna talk. What, and you believed her? Oh, she got a sadistic streak a mile wide, but I never heard tell of her actually killing a conduit. My brother would still be alive if it wasn't for you. She had my daughter. Time to get what I came for, Augustine. Okay, I can work with that. Even if the rest of it is still active. They're everywhere! Hey D, saw a trail of bodies over in Pioneer. Thought of you and followed them. Hope you don't mind. Happy to see me? I had that covered, you know. Oh, I know, but the hell you did. So this means you're along for the ride? You kidding? My two favorite people in the world in a knockdown drag out? Wouldn't miss it for the world. There you go. More smoke toys. Hey, 
fetch. This would be a good time for some backup. Ask and ye shall receive! Eugene! Man, you sure know how to level a playing field. It's good to have friends in high places. Oh, you think that's going to save you? Looks like it's time to pull out the new tricks. Cut the whole roof's armor plate. Let me try the high beams on it. Uh, you sure you can cut through? Yeah, if you and Teen Angel there can keep the dupes off my ass. Fear not, I shall protect you! How's it coming, Fetch? Don't rush me, Dean. I don't like being rushed. I'm almost there. Got it. All yours, Dean. You go inside and grab Augustine. You, Gene, and I will keep these guys off your back. Go forth and enter the dominion of Augustine. The lady's eyes will cover you. So, any trouble finding the place? I know all about what you did. Using Hank to set up the crash. Making Eugene and Fetch look like monsters to scare the shit out of the city. All so you could swoop in and be the hero. I did what I had to, to protect conduits. Protect? You hunt them down. You lock them up. And you train them to kill. I needed Abigail and Eugene to be monsters, because without monsters, the monster hunters go out of business. So that's what this is all about, huh? Job security? And you almost derailed the whole operation. Luckily... You turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. You hear them out there? They want your head. And once the world sees the head of the DUP, saving them from the biggest bioterrorist threat of the last seven years, your death will buy my DUP at least 20 more years of funding. I'm so glad we met when we did. Don't be. Oh. oh no. Are you gonna kill me now? You're goddamn right I am. Okay, okay. You want my power? Seven years ago, my unit was there to save lives from a new threat. Conduits. People with powers that no one understood. They had the power to kill. And the power to transform some of us into conduits too. I found another survivor. She tailed me as I made my way back to the safety of my battalion. Together we traveled through a lawless city that wanted us dead because of what we now were. Every day, people joined the lynch mob, horrified by the thought of conduits hiding among them. We'd hurt no one, but they could only see us as monsters. When military order finally asserted itself, they treated us as the threat. I was conduit. I was military. But I couldn't be both. So I made another option. 
It was the only way. By bringing in that first conduit alive, I'd earned the government's trust. And that was just the start. They funded the creation of the DUP, thinking we were just freaks, hunting down other freaks. But that wasn't it. I was going to save as many conduits as I could. If my kind were going to live, it'd be behind the walls of Curtin K. Seven years, I've kept them safe. Me, I won't let anyone undo that. Not the government. Not the army. Not you. Seven years, all you've done is keep them locked up. You just took away their freedom. So tell me, what would you do? Just throw open the gates at Curtin K Station? Set them all free? You bet your ass I would. The world hasn't changed in the past seven years. Inside, the conduits are safe. They're alive. You turn them out, they'd all be dead inside a week. So tell me, who's the savior? And who's the monster? This is what you wanted. You win. We both have the same power. Only difference is, I've had seven years to practice. that hurts. Augustine had come to Seattle with a plan to spread fear, panic, chaos, make herself out to be a hero. Her plan was soon shattered by monsters she had made. Fetch, Eugene, and me. For two weeks, Augustine had controlled Seattle. Now it was our turn. Who the hell was gonna stop us? Oh, and the hundreds of conduits Augustine had locked away at Curtin K Station? I'm gonna shake each and every one of their hands on their way out the door. So many different powers, all in one place. <laughs> I'll be the kid in the candy store. But first, I had a promise to take care of. Hey, Akomish Nation! Local heroes back home. There's my girl. Whoa, 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 slow down. What? Come back to save the day. The TV news showed everything. It showed everything. Okay, look, about I the... saw you kill dozens of innocent people. What did you want me to do? Okay, I wasn't gonna let anybody or anything stop me from getting back to you to, to, to save everybody. We're Akomish. We take care of our own, right? Hey, hey, take it easy. You have disgraced our people. You have disgraced our ancestors. And you have disgraced the memory of your brother. You are a Comish no longer. You, everybody else, will die without me. Where have you forgotten that? We haven't forgotten. And we will never forget. But... 